Now, do you remember when nobody knew the name Tootie Smith, almost nobody, despite it being an amazing name, I will say, but I bet you know now, especially after yesterday. See, Clackamas County, soon to be commission board chairwoman, made an overnight name for herself by announcing her plans on Facebook to throw a big Thanksgiving bash that would completely disregard Oregon's two week freeze that just went into effect today in the state. You know, the, the whole no more than six people from two households in your home at the same time sort of thing. Now, as soon as we saw Tootie's post, we, we thought, oh, we, we got to talk to Tootie. So we tried to contact her, but no dice, which is fine. That happens all the time. People are very busy. Now, in Tootie's case, she was busy talking to other TV people and going on shows like this on Fox News and saying this to Tucker Carlson. We have been browbeat over the head with wearing masks in public, which I do, by the way, with social distancing, to stay home if you're sick, be clean. I think our people have the intelligence, the education, and the independence to make their own decisions. We are adults. We do not need to be treated as second-rate slaves in our own homes. All right, so the Board of County Commissioners in Clackamas County, just to kind of give you an idea of, of what she does and who she's working with here. It's made up of five people who serve four year terms and they, you know, they set policy in the county. They establish budgets. They do play a very big role in putting together the county's pandemic response. So I really wanted to talk to Tootie Smith and ask her some questions about her plans for, you know, when she takes office next year. So I, I drove to her house today. And this is that part where the news like shows me walking up to her doorstep and like knocking on the door and there's a confrontation. But I think that's really weird when the news does that. So we didn't do that. We're not going to show that. And plus, that's not how it happened. I pulled up and her husband met me outside. And he was really nice. And he told me that she was just too busy to talk today. And then I needed to schedule an interview on her website. If you're curious, it's tootiesmith.com. He said she agreed to talk to us tomorrow on Zoom. So. That's what we're planning on doing, so stay tuned for that. Now, Tootie did fire off a couple of tweets this afternoon after my visit, including this one criticizing the media, along with a screen grab of me looking, uh, well, I'm going to say handsome. Seriously, I don't screenshot well. Everybody in the building knows that. If you get on our YouTube channel right now, look up any episode of this show, hit pause at any time during that show, and I will look not good. There's a reason I'm on TV. I'm better in motion. In the meantime, I do want to share something I think is worth your time. It's an opinion in the Oregon City News written by Peter Lund, a small business owner there. The headline is, it's time for 2D to go. Lund says that he saw Smith's post while he was waiting in line for hours for a COVID test. So he had some time to write down thoughts about Smith, about a thousand words worth of them. And he ends by saying this, quote, as soon as she is sworn in next year, the people of Clackamas County need to start collecting signatures to recall 2D Smith. Now, Lund went to school with a lot of doctors and nurses. He ended up marrying a nurse who was witnessing the horrors of this pandemic head on. When we asked him what he would ask her, telling her that we'd have a chance to talk to her tomorrow, this is what he said. I would ask her whether she's willing at her big family gathering this weekend to get on Zoom with some of the healthcare providers who are in the COVID ICUs and missing Thanksgiving, I think they could use a little pick me up. Now, a, a lot of this has been, you know, what she posted, that's been the focus on, is that going to make people more unsafe, encouraging them to do something that doctors have said don't do. But while most of us are lingering on that post, Tootie Smith hasn't been going on TV and talking about the big party plan she has for the holiday. She's been talking about something different, something that she tweeted out shortly before the show. Right after she retweeted that flattering picture of me, she shared this, quote, where are we that family dinners that a family dinner is now an act of defiance. The government has no place telling us who we can spend time with in our own homes. Recommendations, fine. Mandates with threats of arrest, nope. It's ludicrous and should alarm every Oregonian. Now look, that is a conversation that we can have. There isn't a medical consensus around how governments should enforce their power. So that is something that I hope, honestly, all of our leaders have considered, including the governor. It's something worth exploring on this show and something along with a lot of other questions that I plan to ask Tootie about during our interview tomorrow.